hey guys welcome back to another new video so in this video we have a blackberry device so this one is a blackberry 9800 released back in 2010 this was my first blackberry device which i have used in about 2011 to 2012 so there are two variants of this device actually one of them is blackberry 9800 and another one is blackberry 9810 so they have a little difference in the specs but both of them looks similar so the one i have here is actually blackberry 9800 as you can see it looks very good and it still holds up pretty well i really like blackberries and as you know i did make a lot of videos about blackberries they they were smartphone of that time but in today's time they are not really that great but certainly still usable and i have been using this device for a very long time actually as i said this was my first blackberry device i have a lot of memories with this device not particularly this unit actually i sold mine one in back then in 2013 i recently bought few of this blackberry 9800 i do have few more of them so this one is in perfect condition so i'm using this one so the device is turned on it takes time to turn on i did put my sim card as you can see uh, the network is there right now it does connect to 3g connect to wi-fi too so as you can see my wi-fi is also connected the god is my wi-fi name and wi-fi is connected and bluetooth and everything is working perfectly fine actually so there are a few things about this device it looks good and also it slides up so the keyboard here is good actually but i don't really find comfortable to use this keyboard like this i use mostly the on screen keyboard and it it works fine and we also have the knob to scroll around and go around so everything seems to work fine so the specs of this device actually is that it got 4 gig of internal storage 512 mb of ram and also the processor is actually 600 megahertz so for a 2010 device the specs is pretty good actually and also in the back we do have a 5 megapixel autofocus camera this camera does take really good photos and the flash is awesome we do have volume rock cards and also we do have a camera shutter button on top we do have a lock switch and silent switch and the left hand side we do have a micro usb port to charge and sync the data and other than that we don't have anything here also we can slide the device and use the built-in keyboard which is the signature gesture of blackberries and the keyboard is actually awesome and it's it's very good also this device does have like auto brightness and light sensor and i do really like the light sensor here it's really good uh, it's very bold uh, usually we used to get this kind of light sensor with samsung devices but nowadays we don't really get any kind of light sensor anymore now the big question is can we use this device in 2024 or not actually it depends on the user uh, what it really you need so in the basic term if you really need a device which can make phone call and messaging then this device is still usable as you can see here the sim card is working i can do phone calls and as you can see i'm getting like receiving messages here now and everything seems to be working fine the ui here is pretty good and it's pretty fast i don't think you can get a device a dumb phone which runs this much smooth the performance here is really good and it runs flawlessly as you can see i have connected to the wi-fi so i can browse internet actually so if i i have already installed opera mini and installing opera mini is pretty easy you can go to like m.operamini.com it will uh, give you option to download so as you can see here i can browse facebook obviously the older facebook so it does work perfectly fine and no issue with that so it takes time but it works i don't think anyone going to like browse internet on this device but if you are really using this device and you want to browse you can still browse if you really want to install opera mini on this device you can just go m.operamini.com which will bring up a suitable version of opera mini for your device so i did install opera mini 8 here but you can go with different version of it so as you can see m.operamini.com and this trick will work on any blackberry devices so if you have blackberry device and you want to install opera mini just go to m.operamini.com and you can install the opera mini here so as you can see here blackberry 9800 and it's detected the device and if i don't want this opera mini 8 i can go with opera mini 4.5 and also there are a few more 
and if you are having any kind of certificate issue you can just go to select code signing certificate and select no certificate and you can install the browser without any issue so i have installed it i'm not going to install anymore so the opera mini here working just fine and also i did install jtube here so you cannot install jtube directly from the device you have to download the jtube application on your android phone or computer and just you have to transfer it here and after installing it as you can see here i did install it and it did load the page if i try to play something right now it will play the video but it doesn't show the video that's kind of thing going on maybe blackberry was seven devices can like play without any issue but in this device i can't really play so if i play right now open it as you can see hey, So it can play, but uh, you will not going to see the video, just audio. And also you can download from here. That's a cool feature of JTube. If you really want any kind of video to download, you can download directly. Or if you want, you can do like this also. Like when you go to play, you can directly save the video. And after that, you can play it. So if you save, it will download the video. As you can see, it is asking me to download the video. And you can choose the video resolution. Uh, as for now it is in 360 but you can choose 720p it's up to you i don't think this one device can like play 720p video maybe 480p will be enough for this device but 360p is also good because the screen is not really that big so that thing you can do and also we do have some games here i did install moto gp 2012 which is working just fine and you can download games directly from webtrick.com so webtrick.com has a lot of games for this kind of device solar devices and those things work perfectly fine so if you go opera mini and if you go to webtrick.com there is a game section you can download a lot of games from there and most of the games will be usable and some of them will ask you to like rotate the device to landscape so if you go to game section let me install the game so action game not all the games going to work but most of them will work so i will be going to install last year blender let's install this one proceed and download yes. so as you can see it is downloading right now And also in build there are three games which you can play they are also good so run as you can see here the game is it's not really compatible with this device as you can see it is showing half of it uh, it's not going to work that good but you can try and there will be few games which will work perfectly fine like moto gp and few other games will work perfectly fine and in the game section we do have like two games which pre-installed and i did install tetris here directly from web trick and that one is also working perfectly fine no issue so other things like uh, blackberry app world doesn't work anymore and almost all the application here doesn't work the basic one like phone call and messaging one working and also we do have like four gig of internal storage if you really want you can listen to music with this device we do have 3.5 mm headphone jack here this side so if you want and you can listen to the music and also you can put sd card too going to the camera application the camera does take good pictures actually i did take few pictures and we do have a shutter button here too so if i shut not press and full press it works similar to other devices and just works and the flash here is actually really good but you can't really use the flash as a torch you need to install some kind of software to do that so if i don't think you can find any kind of application right now for this device basically for basic uses for phone call and messaging is still usable i don't really think anyone going to use this device as a secondary device because it's a little bit bulky it doesn't make sense to keep a touch screen device as a secondary device i prefer button device and also not really a slide phones 
as a secondary device but this device is really cool device and works perfectly fine the display is really sharp and beautiful internet also work perfectly fine uh, although you cannot like watch youtube videos but for listening music you can do that for phone call still usable for messaging we do have a really great keyboard here if you want to use that you can use that so perfectly usable device in 2024 in terms of basic use so that's all about blackberry 9800 thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next one Thank you.